Hey guys, I know it has been forever since I have filmed a video. Um, it feels like it's been forever. I barely even <laughs> know how to film anymore. Um, but yeah, it's, it's ever since I found out, you guys, maybe you guys know, maybe you guys don't know that I have found out that I was expecting another child uh, to almost two weeks ago. So ever since then, I haven't had any energy to film. It takes me a lot to pull myself out of bed and um, I just have not been in the spirit to film I have only worn makeup one other time um, in the past two weeks so it's been hectic but me and my good friend Misha we've been communicating over this month that we've been talking about things that we've enjoyed using that is high-end and our drugstore favorites so today I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show you my high-end favorites. I'm not gonna be filming. This is gonna be, I mean, filming, excuse me. I'm not going to be editing. This is gonna be really lightly edited. So um, I will be rustling around and grabbing stuff as it comes. So just forgive me, but I'm just not in the mood to do a lot of editing at all. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab whatever out of this basket that I've been enjoying. <laughs> so. Uh, the first thing has been this Morphe palette. Now, uh, this is my first ever Morphe palette. Now, I have tons of Morphe brushes. I also get the Morphe Me every month. But this is my first Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 350 palette. Um, it's not that expensive. It was only $22. Um, but I have been enjoying this palette. Mainly because Jacqueline picked some beautiful colors when it comes to the shimmery colors here some of these colors you just cannot duplicate um they are just amazing as far as the color and the pigmentation of them um i haven't seen them duplicated anywhere else they're just so sparkly um the ingredients are not the best of course you have parabens in here you have talc um so but i have been using this a lot before I found out I was pregnant and um, it's just easy to grab this it's very brown girl friendly it's very friendly for anybody and it has just a lot of transition shades in here it's just a good palette I see why it was coveted and why people were like fighting over it but I just happened to grab it when it was back in stock I used Patrick Star's code and got a few dollars it's not necessarily makeup it actually has to do with my camera I have been enjoying this macro lens here this is a it is a um, macro lens it's 0.43 times high definition lens i've been using this lens and what this lens does is when you guys see me film in front of my setup like when i have you can see my vanity and things you would not be able to see this because i film off a of t5i but it has a very narrow view so you only see me and maybe a little bit of my background so in order to get my whole background in i take and put this lens on maybe i can show you if i put this lens on you see how far back i am and now you can see where my background ends so that's how this lens works and um yeah you can get this on amazon it came in a kit when i bought this so i really do like this macro lens when i want to have a big wide shot um as far as foundations i never really put foundations into my favorites because I have so many foundations and I switch them out. Um, so, but lately I've been loving all things Becca, okay? Um, I have, and I'm out of breath because I'm pregnant, guys, so just bear with me. Um, I have two of her powder foundations, and I use these one to contour with, and one is an all over powder. And the one I contour with is going to be Coco or Cocao. It's very 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 deep so i have to be very careful with it and this one is tobacco which is my shade so i contour with this color and i can't wait to show you what i contour with now but i have to save it for my drugstore favors because it's a drugstore brush but um i love to contour with it but these two have been my go-to lately and again this one is in tobacco and this one is in cocoa or cocoa like i said this is not going to be edited um, of course, for highlight, I've been loving the Becca Champagne Pop. You can see I'm starting to get a little dent in there. Just a nice, very pretty, peachy, shimmery shade. 
um, for brows, I've been loving, I actually have three of these now. Um, <laughs> the Anastasia or Anastasia dip brows. I have um, soft brown, uh, chocolate, and dark brown. So I've been really liking these. I use them in combination. I use my chocolate in the front and then I use my dark brown in the back. So I've been liking these combination of two. I do have little pencils and things that they come out with, like the little brow, brow pencils and things. Um, I haven't really got into those as of yet. For skincare, I've been liking the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is just a $5 thing and it's almost gone, but I'm gonna try the Moisture Surge because since I've been pregnant, my body and my face have been super duper dry, but I cannot stand the smell of anything. Every scent makes me sick, so I know that Clinique has things that are scent free. Okay. For primer, now this is really different for me because I am dry skin, okay? But I, and I don't have any pores or anything like that, but I really love using this because it just gives my foundation this beautiful matte finish. And I just stumbled upon it on part of a couple of purchases and it's the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Pore Minimizing um, Primer. And I have really been liking this. It's really kind of thick when it comes out, but I just put it along my face. I put it along my whole face. And it doesn't dry me out, but it blurs everything. It gives me this nice little blur. So if you're looking for something to really blur out any texture that you might have on your face, I really do suggest this for uh, the Smashbox. For lipstick is what um, always going to be MAC, unfortunately. I have a ton of other lipsticks that I don't usually wear. I always reach for MAC, no particular reason. It's just that MAC has such a long line of lipsticks. I don't buy MAC anymore. I don't support MAC cosmetics anymore, but um, I do wear what I do have from MAC. And my favorite always is going to be MAC Snob. I have been wearing this period religiously. Um, it's just my favorite lipstick, my go-to lipstick. It's a beautiful powder, baby pink, and it's creamy. It's not matte. I'm really over the whole matte thing. I have on Ruby Woo, which is matte right now, but I'm so over the whole matte thing. I'm tired of the dried out look. So yeah. And the last thing that I have for you guys is going to be my NARS brush. This is, it's all dirty now. It's what I use to do my wing liner with. Um, but what's funny about it and, it, and it has a name, it's the NARS number 47 brush. NARS number 47, you won't be able to see it because they wrote it in black. But what's funny about this brush is, I mean, what's funny about me liking this is I like this as a high-end brush, but I use it with a very, very, very affordable um, cream liner. So I'll have that in my drugstore favorites. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me during this ride. I see that I have a ton of new subscribers. I just wanna thank you all. For subscribing, I will be having another giveaway when I hit 6,000. Never in my life would I thought I'd be saying 6,000. I just, I thought I'd be barely making it over 5,000 and now I'm heading over to 6,000. So it's just, it's very nice when you have um, people that support you. And um, so I just thank you guys for watching. And so, like I said, another giveaway is 6K. And thank you guys. If you guys wanna know about my pregnancy and updates like that, just go ahead and subscribe to my a vlog channel which i have down below i haven't posted really much over there yet um just a few things um one update i'll have more updates as i know when i get my first ob appointment which is next week i'll let you guys know what's going on over on my vlog channel so i'll talk to you guys in the next video i'll have misha loves beauty information down below go over there check out her high-end favorites I am because I want to know <laughs> and um yeah if you guys have any videos that I haven't watched of yours tag me in them inbox me whatever <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys in the next video